G'day guys, Stills20 here and welcome back to Marble Mountain. Today we're going to begin work on a project that I've been wanting to do for quite a while but just haven't had a good opportunity or any good excuses to be working in this particular area. Now we have both which is really fantastic and you'll notice that we aren't working in the city anymore. We are out of the city, we're working around Copper Falls. We're actually working between Copper Falls and Chinchilla and we're going to be focusing on this particular spot. Now this is going to be fairly challenging because we have uh, we have this like temperate farmland environment over here. We have this pine tree forest which is also quite mountainous and then we are leading into the desert of Marble Mountain. So this is a real mix between three types of environments and what I'm going to be working on in particular here is going to be like a swampy marshland which I think will fit probably the best but it's going to be fairly challenging because it is a mix of three environments but I think a swamp will probably work best. Now for excuses we um we have been doing some well I've been creating some driving videos so you know I wanted to really focus on developing up some of the detail work around the highway so we can do some more recording of those um, driving videos and we um, also have a whole bunch of new assets as well to play with because you guys pretty much gave me the green light to download some extras. Um, not heaps, but just some extras. And um, also some billboards we've started creating, some custom billboards, which I think we'll start placing around here too. There's some, there's just some excuses. Plus, I just really wanted to be working around here, <laughs> to be honest. Um, in terms of ideas, so I've got a couple of pictures that I wanted to show you. So first up, we have um, two sources of inspiration. This one in particular is going to be um, the main idea for um, up around where the pine trees are and where the um, stream starts. Also around the mountains, I think we're going to be trying to do something like this. Big pine trees, but an also quite low-lying um, grasslands and a lot of rocks as well. I'm going to be doing like quite a lot of rocks that are going to be forming um, the base for that river. And then when we get closer to the um, actual lake, we're going to be doing more reeds and some more smaller style of trees. But I also wanted to incorporate some of these Mr. Mason um, trees here, which has been out for ages, but they're just really nice. Uh, Mason. Yeah, these are just so damn nice. And I've been wanting an excuse to play with these. So I think this probably works best um, for an excuse. So I think I'll be doing a real mix of these around here and I also have Padelmo's Swamp Grassland which would also be a good asset for probably more around here as we get into the reeds. I think I also downloaded some reeds. I did. Yeah, they're going to be fantastic. And these are also very low... Um, low detail but they the low detail but the high detail if you get what I'm talking about so I'm gonna be doing a lot of them we have to flatten out this landscape because it's a bit it's a bit extreme so they're the sort of trees I'm gonna be focusing on I do have a couple more so I'm gonna be doing like a real mix of different types of foliage in this episode and also playing with some of the rocks um, we, I've also downloaded some of those Mac Walshman um, network rivers which are just these are just incredible and I haven't really played with them just like too much yet but I might use them in this area we'll see how we go we might not need them basically the rule with uh, my current downloading situation on Marble Mountain is if I don't need it I won't use it but um, if there's no other way of creating that um, realism or creating that atmosphere then I will download something so really not going too extreme with the downloads um, I'd also have some of these Kono um, stilt houses because I think this would be, this would make such a cool town. Just like a little small swampy town on the side here. Um, so because we are going to be making a town, let me know if you have any name suggestions, any ideas for what the town's like, because I embed all that into my my series, into my thought process when I start building it. You can also jump on the wiki and if you want to, or if you like jump onto the discord, actually first to um, have a chat with some people about what this town will be all about. Um, real swamp people sort of town, I think. Alright, this is going to be such a fun build. Let's get into it. 
Alrighty, so my enthusiasm for building in this area was completely accurate. This was such a fun build. I really enjoyed working in this area. Um, I think because it just changes so much to do with this, um, this like whole direction for Marble Mountain. Um, and I really do enjoy working in places outside of the city in Marble Mountain because that is sort of the whole point in this series is to work in um, areas not just um, focusing on uh, developing out a uh, city, but it's mostly to focus on developing out this entire region of Marble Mountain. And building this area here really just adds so much to, um, I guess, like the feeling of this place. It just creates us a, a new environment that we can sort of start imagining and thinking up who lives here, what it's used for, how it's developed, and you know all that real great stuff that I really love about this series. Um, but yeah, I would really do love the work that we do here. I end up focusing a lot of this episode uh, around the mountainside and um, developing that that like uh, that mountainous region that sort of sits between the two rivers. Now I end up developing and detailing that area out quite a lot. I really go um, quite extreme with the amount of detail and rocks and foliage and stuff like that around that area. Um, but I do that because that was like always my idea going into this area. When I first developed this this map a year ago, I always envisioned uh, this mountainous area to um, be really like reminiscent of uh, the type of landscape around California. Um, I'm thinking like uh, Yosemite National Park and all those like really big rocky mountains. And uh, I really wanted there to be like a lot of stones, exposed stones coming out. And um, to have like a really different type of mountainous landscape than anywhere else in Marble Mountain. Um, I, I, I really like the idea that there's like lots of different types of landscapes around this region. And I didn't really want anywhere in particular to be um, similar to anywhere else um, and this area in particular I wanted it to be really rocky and um, in order to do that I have to use a lot of these uh, rocks these vanilla ones but I'm also using some that were um, designed by Zardis um, actually I'm pretty sure he just modified them I can't remember who the actual publisher was but um, he's basically modified them so I can use them um, with water because um, basically those vanilla rocks that I don't match very well water they the water does some really strange things around them um, so I wasn't really able to uh, get too much of the rocks into the water at least these big boulders um, however those um those rocks that he modified worked really nicely and I'm um, also just like embedding some of the trees within the gaps that um I you know get a little bit strange around the water uh, side and uh also think that like having a lot of the foliage around where the river is, uh, it's generally quite realistic because that is where a lot of um, the foliage usually is and a lot of the trees usually are, it's usually around the water source. Um, and then like as it goes up into the mountainside, uh, it gets a little bit more arid around the ridges but then within the valleys I wanted there to be like lots of different rock formations. So my working going into this, I um, was really just going quite extreme with the, the types of rocks that I was placing down and I um, basically found the best technique was to place down these massive boulders and then terraform the landscape around it so that it almost looked like some of the rocks were just part of the mountain rather than something that had uh, slid off the mountain or something that was uh, now exposed from the mountain. I wanted some of it to be act as in like acting as some of the ridges. Um, and the foliage as well, so a lot of the trees uh, are sort of just in between where the uh, the rocks are, the big boulders are, and where the terraformed landscape is too because uh, it's not quite the same texture or the same colours, so uh, those trees really help just to blend that in. So um, yeah, as you can see, huge amounts of detail, but uh, that was always my idea. This area wanted to be really, uh, really iconic and really... Uh, very much like a national park. So we're going to be doing a lot of different walkways around here and um, this will be a real sought out uh, type of national park that people would really go out of the way to go and visit. It would be very iconic to Marble Mountain and uh, a type of landscape that you wouldn't really see anywhere else within this whole region. So that's why we're going to quite a lot of work 
So if you are someone who is interested in running up the wiki or coming up with stories, you can either leave them in the comment section below or you can hit up the wiki page and the Discord server, all that's in the description. Uh, there's plenty of room for stories around this area and um, when I do return to building this area, I will be taking in um, a lot of the suggestions and ideas behind um, what this national park is, including the name because this whole area doesn't have a name. So if you have any name suggestions too, that would be really cool. Because that's the sort of stuff I really love about Marble Mountain is coming up with these names and the stories and backstories behind all these different areas that we're developing. Um, I can't really do it without you guys because I just don't have the time frame to build, record, do all these episodes and then also fill out this whole wiki page which um, is really like totally up to you guys when it comes to name suggestions and things like that. Um, but yeah, totally a collaborative project. Make sure you jump to the Discord server before jumping on that wiki. And we don't quite get to that town that I was talking about in this episode. This whole build actually took a real long time to do. There's a lot of detail into this and I just didn't get time to do the town, but I have already worked on the town. It's in a different location than I was mapping out. Um, it's more towards where the mouth of the swampland is and where the uh, lake, uh, Marble Lake is as well. So it sits more on that lake. And it feels a gap that I didn't really know what to do with, which is um, actually really great that it actually fits there. Um, but that town is just amazing. <laughs> you wait until you see that town, it's really, 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 really cool. I love the way it turned out. And um, I plan to do a few more towns around this area too. So where more of the desert is, um, you can see it in the background. Uh, I plan to do some more little smaller towns around there. Um, not as big as the one that I build in the next episode, not that that town's very big it's pretty small but um yeah I do plan to do like a whole bunch of different towns around here because like I said quite an iconic area and the landscape is really um detailed and I think that building around this area just makes a lot of sense and it's actually quite inspiring to me because I think uh there's not going to be very many other areas within Marble Mountain that are quite like this area so I think it'd be really nice to really develop it up and get um yeah, get like a little bit more atmosphere going on here and I really want there to be a lot of detail so that we can really come up with some really cool ideas of who lives here, how it's developed, some of the little hidden areas that we can um, start building up to which yeah I'm really excited for as you can probably tell. Um, I am working on right now a little path that snakes its way up one of these ridges. There's just the one for now, we will develop a few more later on down the track. I'll get it down the track, uh, that was not intended. But um, yeah, I do plan to do a whole bunch of different trails around here as we uh, work around this area over the next couple of weeks. And um, I don't know if you noticed too, but there is a cave that is sitting on the edge of this river. And I do this really, really, really fun thing at the end of this episode. And I'll give you a bit of a spoiler. Basically, I drag a path that goes into that cave and then it um, there's like another cave that sits on top of that one. So you can imagine that that's leading up. Uh, and yeah, so basically I drag a path that goes through that cave and then goes up through the mouth um, into the top part of that ridge and then the trail then winds its way up along that ridge. So that would be like a really, really unique uh, aspect of this national park. Probably like a real draw card. There'd be like, it'd be full of, uh, be all, all the postcards and um, something that, you know, people fly into Montana to then come out this to this way to just to see that cave system because it'd be really quite a cool cave system. Um, I actually even make the path so that it goes through the inside of the mountain. Um, I've terraformed it that way and when we do open up this national park because at the moment it's basically nothing, uh, when we do open it up then we will see people walking through that cave system which is just very very fun. Um, yeah, so look forward to that. But at the moment, it's just sitting there and we'll get into that maybe a little later on down the track. Um, hopefully in a live stream, stream or I might work on it in an episode. Um, by the way, my live streaming is just put on hold for the time being. My computer is just really needing some updates at the moment and uh, I've just been putting it off to be honest. I, I should do it as soon as possible. But um, basically my computer is just, it's old couple of components are really good but um, you know whenever I try to render videos or uh, edit videos or uh, you know work in powerful uh, applications and when I do streaming or any sort of live plays it just 
just struggles big time. So I think I need to upgrade it, um, the whole the whole unit. But just putting it off because I actually can't really be bothered looking at the right comp computer 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 components. Uh, yeah, I just can't be bothered. But I will before Christmas. That's the plan. So. What I'm doing now is I'm working with these Mac Walshman uh, networks. These are really, really fantastic and they're an absolute game changer. Um, I'm using them in a different sort of manner. I'm using them to create little canals for my swamp land. Now this swamp land becomes very, very, very detailed. I use a lot of different techniques to build up this, um, this swamp and I wanted that to be like little different types of areas kind of like I was explaining in the live play I didn't want it all to look exactly the same um, so there's going to be little pockets of uh, unique areas and um, aspects of it that are going to be very different and um, just so that you can actually recognize certain locations within this um, this swamp uh, and yeah I really love the way it turns out I think it yeah it really looks like a swamp and went to cinem cinematics at the end, it really shows off the sort of detail work we get into. Um, but in saying that, there are aspects of it that aren't detailed. I tried to do a bit of a mix. And um, the way that I'm creating this swamp is, again, using these uh, Mac Walshman networks. And you also saw me use Movets to um, really change up the way that the, uh, the nodes and the segments um, wind around each little area. Because I found that when I was dragging out the network, it was a little bit predictable and uh, the segments just felt uh, a little bit too manufactured, uh, probably because I was dragging them out like a road. Um, but instead, when I use Move It, I can drag some segments out and move some nodes closer. Um, and something else that you might have noticed me do, I um, made a lot of the corners quite sharp uh, as they wind around this um, little region. And um, also, some other sections of each river, I made them bigger and some smaller so that it shows that there's um, different aspects of maybe like erosion and where uh, like water has been passing through certain areas. So really taking a lot of inspiration from uh, places not in California, but more like the southern parts of America, where there's like a lot of swamp lands and um, where a lot of communities are sort of built around these swamp lands. I found them really quite fascinating. So I've been taking a lot of ideas from around here. Probably like the first time I'm taking inspiration from places outside of California for this type of build for Marble Mountain because all this is sort of based around uh, based around California uh, I don't really know many swamp lands in California but I'm sure there's a whole bunch so if you want to hit me up if you're someone who knows the landscape of California then um, yeah hit me up with some Google images or some places or so what am I trying to say some map locations that's more like it uh, yeah I'd be really quite fascinated to check out some more but um, like I said, I do want to create a lot of communities around here. And something that um, you can see me doing is placing down some boats. Uh, this is something that I really like about this area. I would imagine there'd be some really good fishing and um, a lot of people would probably be um, sort of like basing their work around this area. So the communities that I end up placing around uh, this, this swamp land, I think a lot of the industry will be based around this swamp and um, a lot of the sort of like fishing and agriculture that comes around here too because I think there will be still quite a lot of farmland that people will probably be um, part of. Um, how good's that little boat? Well it's not really a little boat, how good's that ship that's just um, found its way into the swamp and nature's starting to reclaim it. I just thought that was a cool little touch that I, yeah. I really enjoyed placing it down. Um, basically, the way that I've created this swamp is I've used those Mr. Mason trees and they form the base of this swamp. And then um, in areas, I've just used some of the Podelmo tree clusters just to um, build a little bit of density, but also they're very low in triangles. So it, um, and the LED is quite good too. So they're quite a um, good tree to fill out certain areas that you don't really notice them but you notice how much depth they're putting into um, this whole area okay so now we're out of the swamp and now we're working on that cave system that i was talking about earlier love love the way this thing worked out and i do plan to come back here and really turn this place into more of a national park um, probably do a whole episode based around the networks around here and we'll probably do quite a lot of live play or I might save it for a live stream, I haven't decided yet. But basically, 
this pathway leads across the river and goes inside to the cave system and then that path leads up into um, the ridge and then you can walk around and I think that would be like a really cool cave network that um yeah we'll, we'll probably expand out later on in um, some other um, episodes but um yeah just figuring out a little bit of the detail work around here I think this section will probably be mostly just focused on National Park we have a couple of scattered houses with some farmland but um yeah probably just gonna keep it pretty low-key uh, not gonna go to too much work but I just wanted to like really um, cement in this uh, this national park, the entrance at least, and figure out where certain areas are going to go and um, the sort of things that you can expect from the sort of parks around this area because I think they're going to be really different to the sort of parks you're going to be finding around the city and other areas of Marble Mountain. But guys, that is it. <laughs> what a whirlwind of an episode. I really enjoyed putting this one together. Next week, we're going to focus on the Swamp Town, and I'd love some name suggestions for it, but you just have to wait until that episode. I don't know when that's going to be out. Probably next week. We'll have to see. But thank you so much for watching this one. Much appreciated, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.